What's up, what's up, y'all? Hey, I'm back. It's KO Cool with Cool News. Well, hi, buddies of the big world. Yeah, I said I was going to make a video on Diddy. And I mean, I can't give you all the information that's been happening because this trial, this incident with Diddy is huge. It involves so many famous people. Every day, people are coming out with new cases. I was like, where do I freaking start? Then, then I heard that Diddy's plane was in Australia last week. What? Diddy's private jet in my country? And I never got a memo? Well, let's get into this type of information, my buddies. But let me tell you, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on and there's a lot of suspicious activities. If you feel me, if you dig, let's listen to what Diddy has to say. Come love! You can't stand me. The Joker don't play that, baby. Oh, that's right, Diddy. Everyone's going to be coming to Club Love wherever you are. Where is Club Love? I'm going to tell you later in the video where I think Diddy could possibly be. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, I am a super sleuth. And I feel there's some things that just aren't adding up. Hey, Diddy, just like that wig. <laughs> I mean, I saw this TikTok video last night of a guy saying that Diddy's plane was in Australia. And I was like, I didn't get a memo on this. Let me check. And guess where it was? It wasn't in Australia. It was in New Zealand. And a lot of people from the other side of the world, up in the top part, don't actually realise that we're two different countries. Australia, New Zealand are their own countries. I know, it's hard to believe, but we are awesome. Living down under, I know, the confusion can happen. It's all good. So this TikToker says this. Let's have a quick listen. Diddy has a clone. Apparently there's this thing spreading around where people are saying that the person that's actually in jail is not the real Diddy. Let me catch you up to speed. This is a real photo of Diddy. Notice the markings on his face. They're very prominent and they are from the real Diddy. However, in this mugshot right here, you do not see these markings at all. So people are claiming that whoever is in jail, allegedly, supposedly, is not the real Diddy. This photo always terrified me. Uh, there's just something off about this photo. To make matters even more weird, Diddy's private jet is still flying around as we speak and making stops in various locations around the world. Just a few days ago, his private jet was spotted at Auckland Airport, a spot normally reserved for private aircraft. This is from the account Celebrity Jets. They're actually tracking P. Diddy's private jet flight path. And this is when it was landing at New Zealand. And two days ago, it was at Honolulu, Hawaii. This is the actual private jet that Diddy owned. And you can see him getting off this private jet here. So what do you guys think? So first thing to point out is I was very, very shocked by the, you know, the mugshot. The mugshot didn't look like Diddy. It did it. It didn't look like Diddy. I'm just saying, that dude doesn't look like Diddy. Let's have a look at the side-by-sides, hey? Oh, see, the side-by-sides, they don't match. That guy has different eye shape. He's got different mouth shape. Let's have a look at the previous mugshot of Diddy from all those years ago from the shooting. Don't you think that Diddy's teeth maybe are too big and he can't shut his mouth? That's why you always see those little pearly whites. But this guy in the mugshot quite easily shuts his mouth. He ain't going to show them teeths. So I think that quite possibly this guy that we're seeing in the mugshot is the fake Diddy that's in jail. Good Diddy ain't going to go to jail. He a fed. He a goddamn fed. He'd be protected. And I thought... That is an interesting theory because it doesn't look like him. And since everyone's been saying he's a fed for a million years, that, uh, yeah, he's been whisked off somewhere. I mean, as you can see here, I've been trying to put this faux Diddy over the real Diddy. You can see my very primitive abilities, but hey, why hasn't anyone else done this? Why am I the only person to have done this. I've watched every video out there on the Didster. I'm trying to put the head over, as you can see. The eyes are in the wrong spot. Everything's wrong. And I'm not big on conspiracies, but you know what I'm big on? The truth. <laughs> All I'm saying is something's up. There's some holly weird fishiness going on. That's all I'm saying. Did that no diddy? 
I don't know who that is. And I don't believe in clones, so don't even start me. But I do believe in facial reconstruction. I have seen that movie Face Off. <laughs> Anything is possible in Hollyweird. Let's keep moving. And then, now, let's go to the flight log. Why is Diddy's jet? He owns his jet, by the way. He doesn't lease it. He owns his own jet. Why was it over here last week in New Zealand? Hey, let's have a quick look. So there's quite a few interesting places he's been since he's been in jail. I don't know who's flying on his jet, but they're having a bloody good time. That's all I have to say. <laughs> they're going to Honolulu. They're going to Auckland, New Zealand. And then they go to the French Polynesian Islands. And then they go back. Let's have a look. They go back to Cabo. And then they go back to French Polynesia. That, that seems to be a favorite. Now, remember all you Brittany sleuthers out there from my videos. Brittany used to go to a French Polynesian island that's only for celebrities. The paps can't get photos. It is the most secluded place. And nobody speaks. It is so exclusive. I would imagine one of the big music execs own it. That's my feeling on that one, and that could be precisely where Diddy is. Dun, dun, dun. He could be living in French Polynesia. How about that, Dr. Phil? Catch me outside, Dr. Phil. He could be, or my boyfriend actually said something very, very interesting. He said, what about Diddy's plane is busy. It's just constantly on the move. What about if he's just living in the plane? And he's just constantly flying around the world. I mean, that's not too far-fetched. Because, you know, when you're in the air, you can't be charged. You're free of being charged. Like being on a ship. Everything that happens at sea, happens at sea. The same with the air. You're flying above the region. You can't be charged. So the, the info about the one that did land in New Zealand, they said that nobody got off the plane. That's odd. But they said a crap load of luggage did and stuff. And I'm like, well, Diddy could quite easily be in that luggage, couldn't he be? Hey? But I'll tell you, around the time of his arrest, the plane kept on flying back and forward in America because they know everyone can watch it. It's a public free flight tracker. So they're just playing the game. But when you go back and look, like look here, back in June in the flight log, why was Diddy's plane flying to Switzerland, hey? Switzerland, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm sure most of you people know that Switzerland is the only neutral country in the world. They are neutral from everybody. That's where all the Swiss banks are, you know, when people, huh, where's all their money gone? Hmm, ah, it's in a Swiss bank with Diddy <laughs> in a suitcase. You can't extradite from there. There's so many things you can't do with Switzerland because Switzerland don't take sides. They're Switzerland, okay? We are never taking sides. So that could be when he left the country because it is very odd. Why the hell would he be going to Italy? There's, there's another flight in Italy. Is he hanging out with the mafiosos, you know, talking about the deals? And then they take him to Switzerland and he lives in the Swiss Alps. With a couple of goats. He likes goats too, you know, just, just as much as girls and boys. But, <laughs> I mean, it is weird. It is. The flight log is very odd. And I personally don't know why. When it's Diddy's plane, it keeps flying. Obviously, he can use it for his family and friends. Uh, but at the same time, why are they going away all the time? Out of the country, all over the country. I mean, are they just moving papers around? Who bloody knows? But it's all very suspicious isn't it? Why don't we actually have a quick little listen to Kanye when he had his breakdown a few years ago, which I knew something was up, that he knew more than what he was letting on, but he was very, very angry at Diddy. Oh my God. Have a quick listen. I don't got no celebrity friends because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public and I didn't have the address of my child, None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. Co -car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck <laughs> up about, you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right, right. I'm Michael now. Wow. F you, <laughs> you fake ass biggers. Wow, Kanye. He, everyone was just like, this guy's lost his mind. But I reckon he just was like, nah, this thing's coming. I'm out of here. I'm letting everyone know. I was never a part of it. I never will be. You dig? I think that's what's happened. Because here's a previous clip to this one. Have it. This one's very dark. Check it. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat mails, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy. None of these names. None of these people. To have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I could say whatever I want and not go to jail. And even if they did figure out a way, I'm still not backing down from what I said. It's Jewish people that did bad business. Whoa, there's some fighting words, Kanye. You reckon too, Murphy? <laughs> Oh my God, I told you, Murph doesn't talk a lot. She does talk a lot when it comes to doing Britney videos, but she has told me that she also was at one of Diddy's parties and they rubbed baby oil all over her fur. Couldn't get it out for weeks. That's just a side story. I'm not, I hate, just want to let everyone know, I'm not bloody laughing at this incident, but it is so outrageous, the crap that's going on, that, you know, as I always say, what are you going to do, laugh or cry? I choose laugh. So it's very sad what happened, but you know, the business, the music biz, it is some dark-ish going down. And as we know, Kanye was letting it rip quite a few years ago. And right before Diddy went in, when he got arrested, guess who wanted to meet with him? Diddy wanted to meet up with Mr. Ye. And Kanye said, nah, 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 I ain't doing that. So there you go. I think that those two videos are very telling. Um, you know, Puffy, Meek Mill, all those people. And I like how he says, I've never moited anyone, you know, from Boston. I never moited anybody. I was just drinking coffee. That's for you, Shazza. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty crazy. All I have to say is, man, Kanye knew, a lot of them knew, and a lot have gone real quiet. But at the end of the day, if Diddy is flying around the world in a plane like Air Force One and never really landing in a country, then that could be why his PJ, private jet, is so goddamn busy these days. But still, I'm very suspect on that um, mugshot. What do you guys reckon? Uh, it ain't Diddy. It ain't no Diddy. I tell you for realsies. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, there's my first video, serious video on the Didster, the Diddler. Yeah, it's a big story and I believe it'll go on for years. But to hear that he was in Australia just gave me the in. But he wasn't Australia, it was in Zander with all these cuzzy bros. I don't even think he's there, I really think he's in Switzerland. Just saying, the Swiss will not speak. They will keep it a secret. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, the plot thickens daily with the Deadster, with so many more lawsuits compiling, piling every single day. Is he the fall guy? Is he hiding? Was he a fed? There's so many questions. We may never know, but let's keep questioning, buddies. Anyways, gotta love you and leave you, and I'm gonna see you guys at the top. Love you guys. Appreciate all of your kind words and love. See you again real soon. Ah, uh, cheers, bowlers. Brr, brr.